Hello and welcome to week three of Friday Football Fever. Guys, our game of the week for week three pitted to two district rivals whose offenses were amazing last year against one another. Cedar Ridge and Round Rock combined to score 105 points last season, and we just knew they'd let, light the scoreboard up again this time around. We talked to both teams' quarterbacks leading up to this one, and they told us they were more than ready for round two. I've heard that a lot. People compare me a lot to Baker Mayfield. I feel like I have wrote the playbook myself, you know. Um, I understand everything. I'm really confident in what I do. The swagger on the field, you know, we like to get fired up, talk a little bit. We could go all the way if we really put our mind to it. I've been thinking I've been playing like Baker Mayfield for a while. I don't think any team could really hold us out here, honestly. But that's just my opinion. Um, good luck to everyone out there. I love the confidence. Now let's get moving with our QC Kinetics game of the week. These quarterbacks came in with a ton of confidence. We knew they'd throw the ball around the field, but this one landed in the wrong hands. Cedar Ridge safety Justin Higginbottom, the guy they call Higgy, gets his first pick of the night. That led to Matthew Brooks finding the pylon in the corner of the end zone. But Matthew isn't the only one who can find the end zone. Round Rock's Israel Martin was stopped on the front side, didn't want to bounce it, so he bent the play back to the right and in for six. That run was impressive, but this Josh Nazir touchdown is even better. Two broken tackles at the line of scrimmage, a stiff arm in the secondary, and then three things, speed, speed, and speed. The Raiders into the break up by 12. They'd go on to win this one 20 to 18. Now that you have seen the highlights and you know the score of the game, it's time to dig even a little bit deeper. My friend Emily Jean Greco was on the sidelines all game long, and then she ran on the field afterwards to chat with Cedar Ridge head coach Sam Robinson about his defensive star and the emotions of a game that got very close at the end. Hey, Emily. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, you're right. I ran on that field. You guys need to record that one time because it's a sight to see. But, you know, you mentioned it in the highlights. We saw we talked a lot about the defense and we're going to continue to talk about that because that is what won Cedar Ridge the game tonight. Not only did they have some big plays, they also had some really close calls and that's what we're going to show you right now. It was in the fourth and then Round Rock was in the red zone and they ended up. I'm going to be honest. I thought Round Rock was going to not only take the lead here, but possibly win the game because there was only minutes left. But then Cedar Ridge held them to a field goal, which is what made it 2018. That ended up being your final score. And of course, those two interceptions in the first half from Justin Higginbotham, also known as Higgy, like you said, it's what gave the Raiders defense momentum from the beginning. I had a chance to talk with head coach Sam Robinson about how pivotal each of those moments were for tonight's win. And we started off with those interceptions. Oh, they were both big, man. Had two interceptions, came in, played really, really well. You know, we rotate three safeties, and he, he produced a lot tonight. Had some several tackles, but those those interceptions were huge. Both times kind of put the fire out and fought off some of the, some drives they had going, so those, those were huge. You know, they always say defense wins championship. In the fourth, you guys got close to letting Round Rock score, but your defense held the Dragons. How big of that, how big was that for you? It was huge. You know, the last two years, Cedar Ridge and, and Round Rock have been absolute shootouts in the 50s and 60s. And so it, I thought both defenses played really well. Round Rock's defense played really well, and our defense stepped up, especially in the fourth quarter, getting a couple of important stops. I'm really proud of those guys. Then I got to ask, at any point when it is within two, did you get nervous or did you have faith in your guys that they could pull it out? Yeah, I thought, I thought we could stop. And our, our offense had a huge drive. We didn't get any points out of it on that missed field goal, but they did take about four minutes off the clock. And so that was a huge drive by our offense. And once we changed the, you know, changed the field position, I thought we had a pretty good chance of getting a stop and, and, and winning the game. Awesome. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. So the Raiders get their first win of the season and they hand the Dragons their first loss of the season. Now up next, Cedar Ridge was supposed to play Stony Point. Obviously that has been rescheduled because of COVID-19. So they are now going to take on Anderson, Jeff, in a non-conference matchup. Hey, football is still football, and in this world of 2020 and COVID-19, if you have one game canceled, it's really a blessing to get another one on the schedule at short notice.